Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Let's get into the update. If you don't know about the WX update, we've been in the beta for a few weeks, maybe? Maybe a week and a half? I don't know. Um, there have obviously been some changes and some things added to WX. If you haven't had a chance to experience them, you can go ahead and watch those videos. Uh, I think I've done about 14 or 15 uh, streams so far. Uh, I love it. The WX update is awesome. They've made some changes along the way as well. That being said, let's go ahead and get into this update. I'm not going to showcase the animated short, but if you do want to watch it, I will showcase the link for the forums where you can actually watch the animated short. Um, if you are wanting to watch the animated short with me, you can always go to my Twitch channel, which I'll be live right after I release this video um, showcasing the WX update. So let's go ahead and look at it together. Okay, <clears throat> so immediately you can see that it says, don't start together, disconnected, WX78 animated short. I'm not going to watch it, like I said. The WX78 update is available now on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. Nintendo Switch will be getting this update. Ooh, okay, so they are going to be doing that. So a lot of people were talking about how the Nintendo Switch was a little bit backdated. Well, turns out uh, we're going to go ahead and be getting this very soon. We're working on a large update to catch the Nintendo Switch up on the platforms now that it's released the goal of keeping it updated in line with them stay tuned for more details specifically for the nintendo switch so i'm assuming they're gonna they're just trying to make sure that the nintendo switch can obviously handle all the updates and there's no bugs it's a little bit more complicated when it comes to online and you know when you were talking playstation nintendo and xbox uh disconnected after the wiring to their long unused empathy like modules repaired wx78 finds themselves suddenly reconnecting with memories that they'd hoped to keep buried all uh, right so if you haven't went through the changes before in the beta this, here we go wx78 can create circuits that can be installed and unlock special abilities so each of these circuits are different there's a speed circuit health circuit glow circuit a moggle circuit uh warm circuit cold circuit all that stuff wx78 can unplug their circuits by utilizing a circuit extractor unfortunately this means that losing any charge that circuits taken up wx learns how to construct circuits by scanning organics uh so there's spiders that you have to scan bosses that you have to scan to get certain uh, certain circuits the bioscanalyzer also produces bio data which is used to create circuits alongside materials just another recipe wx78 circuits are powered by electrical charge meter the meter restores itself over time it can be restored by other means if wx78 gets too wet they begin losing electricity. If they run out of electricity, they begin to lose HP. WX78 also loses electricity when they are starving um, as they no longer have energy to maintain their charge level. So basically, if you keep your charge up, you're okay. As soon as it's not down, it's a definite change. We've already experienced it. Let's just say it's a lot harder than it was before for the rain. Uh, WX78 can eat gears to regain HP, sanity, and hunger. If WX dies, they drop some of the gears that they have eaten. Clockworks are less aggressive towards WX. So I went through the process of test running the whole WX78 uh, uh, and Clockwork situation. Basically what it is, is if you're near them, they're not going to directly attack you right away, but you have like a few seconds to interact before they do. Uh, and then, of course, they talk about the uh, changes to Wirt. And we'll talk about the additional changes. Spoilers. New HUD effects that have been added when learning recipes. Improved cre uh, creature AI when a group of creatures are running together. Reads will now regrow during spring after... Uh, having been burnt when Wirt wears Seaworth or gar uh, Garland, the sanity effects are flipped. Improved how hats look on Wirt. Moose, Goose, and Bearger no longer knock items out of Wirt's hands. This is awesome. The clever disguise now lasts 15 days. Abandoned Merms followers will now return home after some time. Merms now play a hungry animation when their loyalty is low. Feeding Merms will now also improve the loyalty of a few nearby merms merms no longer tolerate their leader murdering a fish merms that are followers will defend other merms merms will stop mining and chopping if their leader gets too far away merms no longer get hurt from eating kelp frogs are no longer aggressive towards merms this is amazing you can literally walk next to frogs and frog rain does nothing to word at all the merm king's eating animation duration is now based on the quality of food the merm king now gives a bonus gold which is awesome so you can actually like get gold as as uh word now which is amazing uh the merm king now gives cut reads instead of rot and then we have decided to revert revert the mouse targeting changes from the march 2022 quality of life update regarding attacking enemies and repeating actions while the mouse is held down uh these will now behave as they were before the update we were working to bring them back when they could yes okay so this is a bug that was experienced during the beta i had it right away basically it was a huge delay on attacking for some odd reason i don't know why it was happening obviously this was a case so they've 
reverted that. Actions like harvesting grass the mouse have returned to the required clicking uh, each one instead of holding the mouse button down, repeating actions uh, when use the same actions such as cooking on a fire, feeding beef low are still functional. Combat targeting with the mouse button has returned to the state where you must completely stop attacking before the target can be changed. This also resolved issues around holding F attack. Okay, perfect. And look at this, new skins. Okay, so we've seen these ones before in the reveal that we had. And of course we have the Deluxe Wardrobe featuring WX Guest of Honor skin, Rosette, Survivor. So we actually have all these ones anyways, but this is really awesome. The new ooh, $4. That's very inexpensive. I like that. The experimental chest contains the following belongings, skin items, electrified lantern, experimental energy siphon, and the uh, apparatus, which we did showcase in a special thing because actually during the beta, these were available to showcase, but four bucks is a great price. And of course, the new drops, which you can get right on my channel right away after this video posts. I'll be live right now and tomorrow and the next day, so on, so on, so on. We're offering streams uh, with drops right now. Uh, shared unlocks now available. So basically, we made shared unlocks now available on Xbox, Steam, and Nintendo Switch, and, and Wii game. So meaning that if you have unlocks, you can share them across each platform. Note to Nintendo Switch players, we have an update coming out for you soon that will address some performance issues. We also have been working on additional updates that will catch the Nintendo Switch up to a bit closer to the other platforms. We'll have more information for you as soon as possible. Have some points, and you click this, and you get some more points. And that is it for now. I don't have initial, uh, I don't have information about the next update quite yet, but we do have something exciting to announce. We are currently in the process of making skins and unlocks available to players while playing offline Nintendo Switch. We're investigating this for additional platforms as well. More details on this will work. Okay, so I was expecting them to like say something like, okay, we're gonna, cause they, they said they were working on something huge. So hmm. I don't have the information about the next update quite yet, but we do have something exciting to announce. Okay, so I think hopefully we get some information on that soon. I'm assuming maybe in the next update we'll hear some more information on that. But that being said, go ahead and watch the trailer. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. Go out there, enjoy. I will see you today where I'm going to be doing giveaways every half an hour while the drops are active. You can receive skins for just watching my stream. I will see you in a few minutes live on Twitch. Thanks again for watching.